Well, let's talk ICT development now, where Magistrate Governor Abubakar Sani Bello has stressed the need for private sector participation in developing infrastructure for education. The governor made the call while commissioning an ICT center with more than 400 computers in Kotongura built and equipped by a non-profit organization. Chenemi Bamiyi reports. In 2020, Four students from Kotongura Local Government Council seeking admission into various universities in Nigeria lost their lives in a motor accident on their way to Mina, the Niger state capital. Their mission was to write a computer-based test because there was no facility with the requisite computers in the entire council and its environs that could undertake the examination. This challenge to education has been further worsened by the activities of bandits on that road, making it increasingly unsafe to pass through. In January this year, the Registrar of the Joint Admissions and Matriculation Board decried the low registration of students from Niger State and five other states in the north, including the FCT, attesting to these challenges. Plans for computer-based tests. This is why the Sanibello Foundation has built an ICT center with over 400 computers, a live conferencing center, 350 kVA generator, and solar-powered electricity backup. Governor Abubakar Sanibello is yet to commission it. You can only write jam through CBT now. And, and I'm sure there are so many students that cannot afford to go to Mina. So with this, all the communities around here, not only Kontogora, all the way to Mariga, all the way to Mashigu, they can all come here. I must commend this laudable initiative and gesture aimed at popularizing science, technology, and innovation at all levels of education. I've saved our children from going to Mina, going to Elorin, going to Zingiru, going to Bida to sit for CBT examination. So therefore, our chances of going to university are much, much higher today than they were, say, Seven years ago, we had no CBT of our own. Those uh, students wishing to write their exams will equally stay in Kondagora and write that, and that has drastically reduced the risk of pa uh, uh, parents sending their children across to Mina. This is a very wonderful and commendable venture. But what is more commendable is that this man is thinking about this at the age of 80. You understand? So people should know that age is not a barrier to bringing positive development for their people. The facility will also be used for the JAM computer-based test for students within the location. Chenemi Bamei, TVC News, Kwetongura.